Hello everyone, welcome back to Crowalt. This is our last colony, so last time we um, spoke to these guys. And they, they spoke about laughing uh, at this guard, so... While I was... Oh, that, that one was loud again. <laughs> uh, while I was... Um, I need to get my mind in a, in a row. Dang, what do, what do I want to say? While I was, while I was stopped recording, while I stopped the recording, there we go, there was a struggle. It occurred to me that maybe his dialogue may have changed because of that, because we got some new information. There we go. I'm thinking about fishing. I'm thinking of catching some fish at that bridge, but I'm guessing it's not that easy. Uh, the soldiers were saying you were having a hard time catching anything. If even a warrior like you are struggling to do it, then I probably won't be able to do it at all. Did they say I'm having trouble with it? Liars. I'll give them a rough time. <laughs> so he goes fishing. While the guard is distracted, I can pluck the herbs needed for Philip's tea. Yes, we can. Uh, the root, it's root, it's too strong for me to pull it out with my hands. Okay, let's use some scissors that we have. And now we got, we got the tea weed. And now we got the special tea. Let's go back to Philip. Hey bro, uh, did it work? Thank God I got the plant before I came back. Exactly. So it was a timed thing even. But he... Wasn't able to catch some more fish. I saw that. He came back empty-handed. Right, so let's see if we can... Well, I mean, Philip is already woken up, but... He wanted the tea. Let's give him the tea. So he can bring us to the other house where we can show the letter. There's a lot of things that we need to do. Yo, Mr. Philip. What a lovely sound. Oh, nothing like Riley's special tea. If you find the ore, we'll be ready to go, son. I'll handle it. Handle ore. <laughs> uh, now that's the incense. Where is it? There it is. Bum. Here's the other ore. Oh, yes. Where did you find it? Uh, actually, never mind. I'll probably lose it again tonight and forget. Damn nightmares. They always turn me into a wreck. Anyway, just let me know when you're ready to go. Uh... All right, I am ready. Can we go now? Is that an option? Philip? I want to go. Oh, it's that house. Two. What is this bad smell? Must be the cheese. Cheese? Take a look at the inside of the warehouse and see, Andrew, you damn bastard. We already found the cheese. To Berkeley? Uh, yeah, let's go. That looks cozy. Thank you. Here we are. Anything that we can interact with yet? Let me check the outside first. I'm going to pick up the ladder. Wooden axe. It's very clear that they belong to a lumberjack. Nothing else here. All right. So let's... Margaret and Berkeley's house. Let's uh, knock on the door. Or maybe even go inside. Now we're knocking. Are you Margaret, ma'am? Uh, yes, that's me. What brings you here? Old Russ from the town square asked me to give you this letter. It's unopened. I only brought it to you. Is it Russ again? God, when will this man let me go? Roses are red. Violets are blue. My dear Margaret, I love you. Poppies are red. Daisies are white. You are the only one that's on my mind. Lilac is purple. Lavender too. This old man is waiting for you. Daffodils are yellow, your eyes are sublime. My beloved Margaret, we're running out of time. Come to my arms and please be mine. His beloved Margaret? Why does this guy never leave me alone, even though I'm married? Uh oh. Berkeley's got to chop wood if he hears. <laughs> there he is. What happened, Margaret? Who is this man? This. Uh, I wanted some water. I was only passing by, I asked for some water. Fine, if you got what you wanted, get out of here. 
Right, I'd better be on my way. Here we go. Ha, huh, I got off lightly. Maybe if this lie had not occurred to me, bad things would have happened to Russ. Anyway, I'll go get the hammer soft paw once. There's no point in bothering there anymore. Okay, I was hoping that... I mean, why would we... Is it time to go? Yes. Why would we um, get Russ into trouble? It doesn't feel right. I mean, we're just a messenger, but water seemed like a good excuse. Who knows, maybe... Uh, what do we need to bring back to Russ? Just her answer, right? I thought it was just her answer. Or just... No, that doesn't make any sense. If he just wanted us to deliver the letter, we could have thrown the letter in the river somewhere and just tell him that we delivered it. Uh, about Margaret. I've given Margaret your letter. I'm so glad to hear that, you. So, how did she react? Okay, so he wanted the reaction. Margaret loved your letter, Russ. I can tell you understand the language of women. <laughs> really? You? Knew that she loves me and knew it. Thank you, you. Here's the hammer, as promised. I'd also like to give you an extra gift for your valuable help. A lockpick? Thank you very much, Russ. You never know when or where you need one. You can find a lot of kind, useful tools on Russ's counter, you know. Uh, okay, so I think we only got those because we saved this butt. Let's go back to the tribe, get our letter smashed together. And then, um, what are those? Fish. He gave them fish. That's the fish. Tribe's card. Uh, have you told him that we said about him? Are you a snitch? Is that what you do? If you didn't have a concession, haven't a concession from Mr. Walton. Anyway, continue your work. You easy, Roger. Go on your way, stranger. <laughs> so he did show them. Maybe we should talk to the guard and ask about it. You can enter leave the camp as you wish, but remember to keep my eye on you. Wait. Okay, that's all you say. Fine. Okie dokie, here's your hammer. Soft paw? Here's the hammer you wanted, your favorite one. Great, I'm glad that old merchant didn't sell the hammer to anyone. Give me the height you're talking about, I can easily make you fist now. Alright. There it is. If you wait a bit, I can work the leather and give it to you. Sure, I can wait. I can wait indeed. This brand new leather wrought by Softbar is ready, stranger. Thank you, Softbar. You've done a good job. It's just how I wanted it. And now we have to go back to town to uh, go to what's her name to make it into a vest. I always wonder isn't leather just leather? Isn't it actually really cold? Are you walking so slow? What's going on? This house. Hello! I collected the necessary materials for my vest. Here they are. Fine, let's sew it together. Um. Oh god, how do I sew? There? Oh, that's fine. A 
It's some sort of time thingy. You're doing well, thank you. So once the ring hits it, it's a shame that there's no sound here. No applause when you do it right. Or a ting. Alrighty then. Well done, you. <clears throat> Thank you. It really wasn't that challenging. I'd better go now. <laughs> Would you stay a little longer? Still feel like I didn't pay my debt to you in full. Um, this is more than enough, Miss Baraha. Is it? What are you aiming at? You can trust me. I'd better go now. I've got things to do. This fest will remind me of you in the future as much as it reminds me of Crowalt. Hope to see you again, you. Okay. I hope so too, I think. Bracha is a little bit... Um, for a second, I thought she won't let me go. Exactly. Anyway, now that the vest is ready, I can head to Tawa. Also, what did we get? It was a little bit weird. Don't, you look very cute here, though. Uh... I figured out how to handle the sewing. Yeah, collect four pieces. We already did that. I would have stayed with Braha. <laughs> I mean, cup of coffee. No, not coffee, tea. Cookies, cake. Read a lovely book. Oh god, I got the yawnies. I got the yawnies. Yeah, I'm, I'm just recording this in a very... I hope, uh, easy evening. I wanted to continue the story in Crowwalt. Hey, I got your vest, broski. Here's your vest, I hope you like it. Wow, it looks great. You know how to do this, man. Well, I did the best I can. I'm glad you like it. Now, those who don't trust my warrior skills should think twice. I don't want to be known as the chief's grandson, but as a ruthless warrior. You certainly will be, Tawa. I have no doubt about it. Better see the chief now, may I? Of course, my dear friend. You can go straight to the tent. Oscar Nugoro will be waiting for you. Thanks, Tawa. See you later, then. All right, let's head in. What, what's the dealio here? There's... Okay, let's first talk to him then. Before we take his feathers. Hail to you, Oskanu Guro. I see your light. I have things to learn from you and also things to teach you. I respect you. And you will respect me. My grandson told me you were coming. Tell me, what are you looking for, traveler? Everything or nothing. For me, the important thing is the search itself. Not what I'm looking for. Seeking is life for me. It is evident in every way. I always respect people who live for a purpose. So, what is your life's purpose? I know you lead a tribe, but I wonder what your main purpose on this earth is. Why don't you just quit leading and live your own life? Questioning and thinking is a good thing. But when it is superficial, it brings ignorance to the fore. My main reason for leading is the pride I feel in preserving decades of tribal traditions. These are things too scared to be expressed through words, traveler. That's why you should think twice before you speak. If you speak more than you think, you will never receive the respect you want. Still, I'm sure it's the quest that drives your life. Then I have another question for you. What brought you to Crowald? I'm looking for the lost colony. The lost colony? Yeah, the colony which stepped into the Roanoke and then disappeared mysteriously. They've left only an inscription carved on a tree, writing Crowald. Then you are exactly where you need to be. But to what extent they were lost is debatable. So you know something? I knew you would. Someone must be knowing something. The townspeople have been very secretive about this until now. Take it easy, traveler. You do not understand. This trip means a lot to me. 
This is my first big adventure. I'll find out what happened to the lost colony. I can see that you will, traveler. You don't need to say anything more. Then you will tell me about the colony? I was told of your arrival. You've already mentioned Tower reported it to you. That's not what I'm talking about. You really need to learn to listen. You could be punished one day for talking so much. Well, I admit I was a little excited. I promise to listen to you from now on. Reverse Flow gave me the news months ago. The shaman of our tribe. He said someone would come to our tribe and it would be good and take away our troubles. I can feel this while looking at you. We have things to make us rely on the future. I can't tell you everything right now. Because first, I need to make sure that you are the person River Flows was talking about. I, I, I doubt I'm someone special. I, I'm just an adventurer. Still, something tells me you wouldn't want to miss out on this test. There is an unquenchable fire within you. I sense that even blindfolded you would see more than most people. There is a burned down ruined house in town. I have good reason to believe that there is hidden a notebook in that house. If you find that notebook, bring it to me. I'll consider you've passed the test. Besides, in return you will have earned my friendship and that of the whole camp. Then we can talk about your questions in more detail. I think you have a lot to reveal to me about my quest. Which is why I will do as you say. Only someone like you can handle this. Be careful, Traveller. We'll have a lot to talk about when you find the notebook. Alright, so we have to go to the burnt house. No, no! <sighs> no, you know what? I'm, I'm deciding not to pick up that feathery hat of him. I don't want to um, disrespect him. So let's go back to town and towards that burned down house. We know exactly where it is. And suddenly the music is all quiet again, except that waterfall and that river, which is really loud. <laughs> But there's no war music like there was in the in the tribe camp. All right, move that way, and then into town, and then all the way that way. Bada boom, boom, boom. Yeah, here. So I need to lure uh, Big Old Bunyan away. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Crowalt, Traces of the Lost Colony, and I will see you next time.